Hello everyone and peace of Christ to all of you. Please invite your friends. And today we have a very, 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 very important topic. Um, let us go, Brandon. Most of you may be here, you know, I mean, there's a lot of people here. They are not from USA, so maybe you have no idea what we are talking about. So we will give you a little explanation. Uh, you know, in USA, as any make many countries, they have like occasions, you know, like football, uh, a car race, people looking for entertainment. So what happened in this occasion here, as we see in the screen, there was an interview for a person who won the race, the car race, which is normal interview. I mean, how you feel, blah, blah, blah. But in the background, people, they were chanting, saying the F word to Biden. The TV host, she said, they are saying, let us go, Brandon. <laughs> and here it hit me. You know, I said, this is exactly what most of them say. This is exactly. I mean, Muslims in Islamic countries, everybody is saying, let us go, Brandon, to Muhammad. The Muslim, they say, how come the Arab at his time, brother? They never complain, brother. They kill, he killed them. How come nobody, brother, say to Muhammad, those questions you are asking before, brother? Like, because nobody there. People, they say the F word to Muhammad. The Muslim, they say they were saying, let's go, Brandon. Let us hear how it work with the liberal TV, which is exactly the taqiyya of the Muslims. Brandon, you also told me, as you can hear the chants from the, the crowd. Let's go, Brandon. Brandon, you told me you were going to fight. <laughs> they are saying, if you buy them, she is saying, they are saying, let us go, Brandon. Like, what the heck? <laughs> This is exactly what the Muslim do. They say Abdul. The Quran say the sun set in murky water. It doesn't say that CP. It says that it appeared to Zul Kurnain that it set in murky water. Okay, Abdul, where is the word it appear? Is it there? Allah don't have to say it, CP, but it's saying there if you Biden. No, they are saying let us go, Brandon. <laughs> Yesterday we have a bunch of callers. The 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 first one he called he was laughing at Jesus said, Oh your God have a brother. <laughs> After that he hang up, you know, he said, I'm going to go. <laughs> he called me laughing. He left crying. Don't say that about my prophet. Like, what the heck? Hey, how much faith your prophet he have before he became a prophet? 40%, 40%. <laughs> Brandon, 40%, 40%. Let us go, Brandon. 40%, 40%. Let us go, Brandon. Your prophet, he have correct faith, 40%. And he have wrong faith, 60%. That's very amazing answer. I mean, let us go, Brandon. The, the, the verse in the Quran says, you do not know what faith and what is the scriptures. You do not know. It doesn't say you do not know most of it, some of it. What is the answer of the Muslim? Let us go, Brandon. The Abdul. It doesn't say that. It, let us. It says I heard it. I heard it. I mean, people they have ears, you idiots. And look what they did by trying to hide it. Now it became it became an anthem. Wherever you go, everybody is saying the, the same sentence now. It became a t-shirt, it became a brand, it became shoes, it became a belt, it became a hat, it became a flag. I mean, what you did. This remind me when, when uh, Mimi Hijab, Mimi Burka, he decided to hide uh, the interview with Yasser Kadi, you remember? Yasser Kadi, he said, uh, there is a hole in the narrative. So Mimi Hijab decided to take the video down to hide it. If you don't try to hide it, nobody will care. Trust me. 
if this woman, okay, she heard what they are saying, she ignored it, she continued the interview, that's it, that's a big deal. <laughs> but because they tried to hide it, it became hilarious. And this is what the Muhammadan they do. They are saying the F word to Biden, and people have ears. Are you stupid or what? If you are a TV station, that means there's at least a million people watching. At least. So how in the world they are saying the F word to Biden, you say they are saying let us go Brandon. And now, everybody, I mean, it, it, Joe Biden became the joke of everybody, but this is exactly what Muhammad is. Hey, Abdul, the Prophet say the brother, that the sun set in murky water. No, the Prophet did not say that. He said, let us go, Brandon. Look, Abdul, let us read together. I was sitting behind, this is this is a, this is the donkey race, not a, a car race. This is a different race, in the time of Muhammad, because at that time they don't have cars, as you know. I was sitting behind the messenger of Allah, who was riding a donkey while the sun was setting. He asked, do you know where this set? I replied, Allah and his apostles told no best. By the way, Muhammad he used to work with NASA. But NASA, the Arabian version of it, you know, like, I mean, come on. Prophet, he have a telescope. He have a tell and scope, you know, that to, the, he connect them together. He get to the seven galaxies in the top of a flying donkey. He come back in the same night. In his way, he stop in Jerusalem. He make a hole in the wall. He tie his donkey. He get inside the mosque. He find the Isa. Isa said to him, no way, you pray for us. Muhammad, he says, oh, Isa, come on, you pray. He said, no, 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 you need the prayer. Muhammad, he said, okay, okay, Isa, don't cry. Okay, I'm going to pray. And there is 124,000 prophet waiting for Muhammad in Jerusalem and 124,000 donkey outside. Does it say that? Eh, no. It says that it's go Brandon. And now Muhammad saying, he said it's set in a spring of warm water. Okay, hold on. First of all, Christian Prince, you are a liar. Oh, why you a liar? Okay, if you are a man, debate the Okay. If I am a man, let me look. Well, I don't know, look like, like I'm a man. I don't know what do you mean if I am a man. What do you mean exactly? Huh? I will call Zachary Naik immediately. And let us see what Zachary Naik will say. You know, whatever Zachary Naik say, uh, Zakir Naik, he knows best, like, uh, like the Prophet of Allah, you know? We cannot we cannot argue with that. We have to be consistent, all right? So, okay, Zakir, here we go. Let's call him. This is his cell phone. Mm -hmm. He's not answering. Let us try the other phone. His grandma phone. Nobody's answering. Okay, you know what? Let's try Zachary Naik in the Islamic school. Huh? Nobody's answering. Okay, hold on. I will try. I have only two numbers left. So, like, we are out of luck. Hello? Christian friends, I told you, don't call me. Like, 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 how you know? I mean, each time I call you, I mean, I don't have a, pri like, my ID for a phone is a private. How in the world you know it's me? For the world. Only you who call me the real time. Okay, Zach and Nick, now I want to ask you a question about how the set how the sun set in a spring of hot warm water according to your prophet Christian Prince first of all I advise you to go to the clinic like what a clinic why because simply you have a very bad vision I have a bad what vision a vision no actually I have a very good vision what are you talking about 
I mean, I can even count how many hair in your beard. Good some friends, this is not a big deal. I have only few hair in my beard anyway. So you are really stupid again. Uh, you get a point there. I mean, psh, come on. Zach and Nike is putting fertilizer for the last 20 years trying to grow a beard. It's not growing. Good some friends, I never use fertilizer. I use common hair only. Uh -huh. I thought you'd drink it. When you drink it, something will slip in your beard. And that will make the beard grow. I invite all Muslims to use it. Uh, okay, okay. That, that, that. Don't do advertise for uh, for a product of camel urine now. YouTube will take our videos down. They will say this is a paid promotion. Good friends. First of all, I give my advice for free. However, if you like to pay me, I will be happy for that. I could, wait, wait, hold on. You know what I collect donation now? Zach and I. Don't change the topic, man. I'm calling you to ask you how the prophet he said that the sun set in a spring of warm water. First of all, Christian friends, I was there. And it doesn't say that. It says, let us go Brandon. Like, what the heck? What does Brandon have to do with this? Brandon is in America. Your prophet is in Mecca. First of all, you idiot. My prophet was in Mecca. At that time, he was in Medina. Like, what? Okay. So, that you want to make a difference? Big difference. Because in Mecca, the prophet was not educated. When he went to Medina, he became educated. Ah, he associated himself with the Jews, so he started learning. Exactly. And you know, the Jews are very smart. So, it doesn't say that the sun set in the water. It says, let us go Brandon. Like, what? But it's even written in your book. I mean, okay, we can say our uh, ears lying to us like the NBC TV, you know, but it's written in the front of us in your book. It says it's set in a spring of warm water, hot water, muddy water. Christian Prince, they don't think the world will be one. First of all, it's set. The word set means let's go. What? Exactly. Set. Uh, let us sit down. So, when he say the sun said he means let us go okay now we have the second sentence Thrim go friend the big water what sorry the big water like uh, uh, let me get my umbrella man you cover me i mean what i mean i, I don't call you today to get a shower i mean this is disgusting can you stop spitting all over christian prince or the me i used to be an elephant and allah he made me beautiful you know mean so now, so you became a Hindu now, what you became, you, you used to be an elephant, and now you became a human, and this explains why the water is coming from your mouth like a host. Anyways, I can, I don't change the topic. So, set me, let's go. What about a spring of warm water? Exactly. First of all, if you want to go and sit in the jacuzzi, where? In the jacuzzi. Uh, jacuzzi, okay. So, where do you sit? In the jacuzzi. Uh, okay. Exactly. He's saying, let us sit in the jacuzzi. Like, what, what jacuzzi? What are you talking about? We are talking about the sun. This is not about the guy who is sitting behind Muhammad is going to sit there. Christian Prince, first of all, you are a stupid and you are an idiot. I mean, I want to get to Bathed. Uh, okay, get me Bathed. The guy, his name is Sun. The, what? The guy who was sitting behind the Prophet, his name is Sun. His name is Sun? Let me zoom in. Okay, hold on. I never thought about this. It turned to be the guy. His name is Sun. <whistles> what? And we Christian making a big deal about it. When the guy, his name is Sun, and the prophet, he was asking him to sit in, in warm water. What a big deal. It's like a jacuzzi. I mean, Zakir, I have to apologize from you. Christian Prince, first of all, your apology is not accepted. Why? Because you made many books about the Prophet, the same agenda, and you are lying about him. And how I get you about it? So the guy, his name is the son, and his, his okay, what is his last name, by the way? This guy, his name is the son. What's his last name? His last name is, uh, you know, the, the son. What? He, the, you know, let me, you know, okay. Uh, Zach and Mike, I did not get what you said. What is the last name of the, the guy, his name is the son, his last name is what? The, you, know, the, you know the thing, you know? What? Did I call Zachar Naik now? I call Joe Biden. What do you mean you know the thing? If the guy, his first name is the son, what's his last name? Christian Prince. First of all, this person, like, okay, I, I will teach you something this. They said to you the third name, third name, third name. Okay, what does that mean? It means the last name. So this is the last name. Okay, what is the first name? This is the first name and the last name. There's many people, they have that. Abdul Abdul. Okay, so his first name is Abdul. Okay, and his last name is Abdul. Uh -huh. So now this is a guy, his name is Son, and his last name is Son? Exactly. Ah. So why does it say they are like uh, uh, the Son's Son, you know? Because this would be stupid. People would get dizzy, especially if you have a close eye. 
Ah, because we will have like two sun now, and that will be exactly. And now I know why there's some people have a cross eyes. Ah, okay. So it's like you know. <clears throat> But here it says, I was sitting behind the messenger of Allah who was riding a donkey while the sun was setting. So this is not the name of the guy. Christian Prince, this is the narrator. And he was speaking about a guy, his name is Sun. And he was sitting. Like, what the heck, Zakir? Are you serious? Absolutely. I can swear to you by the book of the Hindus that this is what this means. Like, why do you want to swear by the book of the Hindus? You swear by the Quran. I can swear to you by any book I wish because simply I have I love all books. I'm very a person who, who appreciate appreciate books. What? I appreciate appreciate books. Ah, okay. So, uh, so Zach and I conclusion. Does it say there? Uh, can you summarize for me what this story is saying? Very simple. Allah saying, Allah Prophet saying, let us go, Brandon. And this is the whole the end of the story. And don't call me again. Okay? Yep. Yang up. And I mean, how you can refute that? No, CP. It doesn't say that, CP. Lie number one, CP. I mean, okay, we got the verse wrong. The prophet got it wrong too. This is the Eve Hadith, CP. Well, it says here, Sahih, in chain at least. And this is why, you know, it hit me that's, you know what, I should make a video about this because this is a very Islamic brand, we have to admit. The first ones who practice this, I mean, people, they hear it in TV, they are saying they afford to, to Biden, and yet they lie and they say, they are saying, let us go, Brandon. Each time, um, a, a brother, uh, we are from the EF Dawa TV, and we are going to show you today that the Quran doesn't say that the sperm come from the rift. Like, what the heck? First of all, brother, the word solb, brother, mean male member. Like, what? A born became a male member? Are you sure? Okay, I'm going to explain it to you. There are two options. Either it means male member or let it go, Brandon. Which one you choose? <laughs> hey, brother. When the ant, she spoke to the ants, and she said to them, uh, hide, otherwise a crush, uh, uh, Suleiman will crush you. What do you say about this? First of all, this is the miracle. Because simply, how the ant they discover that the one who do the warning is a female ant. Yeah, Abdul, listen. In Arabic, we don't have male ant. We call all insects the same. Ant, namla, for male or female. We don't look at their balls. This is language. We call them all the same. This is the truth. But it's still how the Quran knew it's a female. Abdul, it's, this is a word we use for male and female. Do we have a male? Uh, do we have a word for male ant? We don't. Idiot. Okay, but now focus with me. How the end? She knew the name of Solomon. Can you explain to me? Any Muslim in the chat is can help? Anyone? How the end? She was able to know that the king's name is Solomon, and how the end? She speak. Now we know the ants, they, you know, they communicate like any creatures. But science says that their talk, if we can call it talk, by chemical or vibration. They don't talk, they don't have language of words, they don't have lips, they are actually deaf. But it says here that Solomon, this is chapter 27, I mean, guys, when you read the Quran, you feel like you are in a laboratory or a zoo. Ant chapter, elephant chapter, spider chapter, I mean, you name it. Like what the cow? The biggest chapter in the Quran is the cow chapter. And they say to you, the Hindus, they worship cows.
You can see who made the biggest chatter in the crow and the cow chatter. And it's you who made the... We will go to the cow after we finish this one. Hold on. Don't mix things up. The sunset in murky water. And let's go, Brandon. Now, let us go to the other... Uh, let's go, Brandon. How Suleiman was able to hear her speech... Now we have an ant. Hey, Abdul, there, stop moving, please. There's an, is that, there's an ant in your pant. Why do you keep moving like this? I mean, sit down. How in the world? The ant she knew with the name of Suleiman, and how in the world Suleiman he hear the ant when ants are deaf and they don't talk? Especially, it says, Samia Qawlaha. He heard her speech. Well, Muslims, uh, I got an answer there in the chat. It's saying this is doesn't say that. It says, you know, that Solomon he heard Brandon saying, "Let us go, Brandon." What? Solomon he heard that. But it says something different in the text in the Quran in chapter 27, verse number nine. I don't see the word Brandon. Can you show me where the word Brandon is? Any Muslim? But you know, we have to be. I mean, if you look at this ant, just to uh, like give you some Islamic science, I know that most of you are ignorant. You know, most of you do not even go to school. And me as an Arab, I went to the highest school in the world. You know, this is why my English is horrible. And uh, in Islamic school, what do you expect? Very nice, very the top. The top, they teach you how to shave your your vagina or your private part or your underarm, how to how to suck the nipple of your wife without being her becoming her brother by sucking her nipples. Okay, that's not to go there. Let us go, Brandon. So now, in front of us, we have an ant. If you look with me, brother and sister, I don't know how good is your vision is. Most of you, you have a bad vision. Do you see those antenna? Okay, hold on. Let me fix this the screen because. Uh, you know, most of you really are blind. I mean, can, what I can do? Christians, Christians, uh, atheists, uh, Hindus, what do you expect? What do you expect? Well, honestly, what do you expect from infidels? The, the Quran says that Allah, he made, him, made them blind. We, we, Allah, he made us blind and he will punish us for being blind. So I'm, I'm going to choose a different a different uh, uh, image. Uh, uh, hold on, give me a, give me a second. Which one we will show you? Hold on. We want something very clear. Ah, here we go. This one is very, very clear. All right. So here, brother, this is the head of the end. I have to tell you that this is the head because many of you are ignorant. You do not know the difference between let's go brand them and the head. <laughs> So if you notice with me, brother and sister, that this head have a certain antennas. I'm not sure if you can see it. Take to your consideration that most of you are kuffar, you cannot see. So here you see an antenna. Here you see another antenna. So what happened, brother and sisters? This is what happened. And this is a true story, by the way. I know that many of you, that you don't want to believe in true stories because you are kuffar and you hide the truth. What happened is very simple. The ant, they speak. Suleiman, he heard it. Suleiman, 
Suleiman, Suleiman, he got the he got the messes. So, uh, uh, so, 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 Suleiman, he like after he heard this, he you know like you know he like what like he, so he start laughing you know. This is a true story, brother. This is so beautiful. Sometimes I feel I wanna, you know, like I, I wanna, I wanna cry. But now I get a better way. Like let us go, Brandon. You know, like <laughs> yeah. What the heck is that? What kind of a love? This is very, very fake. Like a fake news. What is that? Where do you get this love? Like <laughs> I mean, nobody is laughing. You can tell those people are screaming themselves. This was so man. There's no way he was. He will. He will laugh in such a way. Okay, this is better. This is exactly what happened to Suleiman, brother. So, here we have... Sapa, come on. Say some respect. Oh, baby. I don't know what to say. So, shut up. Oh, come on. I mean... So, the story is very simple. The end, she was saying to the other end. Uh, let us go to the verse before, because, you know, I uh, need to remind you what the verse is saying, because most of you are ignorant as usual, you know. May Allah curse you all, you know, and make you look like me one day. Disgusting. So, brother, the three man, he was like... Walking down street, like walking down street, la 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 la. Until brother, he arrived to the valley of the ant. Like where? He arrived to the valley of the ants. Where is that? Okay, brother. Do you know California? Okay, I know California. Okay, if you go to California, you go across the border, you will be in Brazil. Okay, I know Brazil. It's, you are right, she is, I mean, Brazil, she, she is, no, it's a country, you can't say she is, but with your Arabic English, you can say whatever you want, so she is in the next border, okay, and uh, you cross, you know, if you watch the, 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 the channel, you know, the, the one that's called uh, Tartarari, uh, Discovery channel, you will see that they have a very, 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 very powerful ants there, okay, this is true, I saw this uh, program, actually, I saw even the ants, they were eating a cockroach, you know, like it was like, it was like their barbecue, man, it's so, so, so disgusting, brother, so, exactly, so here, brother, it says that until he came to the valley of the ant, and one of the ants, look at this, look at the details, look at the details, I mean, who can beat Muhammad in his details? We have to be honest here. You see, the problem is people they don't have honesty. One of the ants, not all the ants. You know, it's really amazing that there's like a billion ant there, maybe, or trillion ant. But Suleiman he was able to focus in one of the ant. Do you see how Suleiman he have a good radar? He can focus in one ant speech only. And he received the message again. Okay, I just received a Morse code from the German in the World War II. They are saying the Russian are screwing us. So we have to run. Like, what the heck? So Suleiman. He arrived to the valley of the ants, and then one of the ants, she said to the other ants, Enter your dwelling, lest Suleiman and his host crush you. All of this in this short message. Brother and sister. The Quran is the book of the truth. And this is a very scientific, truthful, you know, they, you know Muslim now they will show you an article said, yes, Muslim, yeah, uh, and, and they talk, no, and they don't talk. They, they have a language, yeah, vibration and chemical, but and, and they don't make speech. They are deaf, you idiot. So Suleiman, he smiled 
amused with her speech. And then, brother, the drama continue, brother. Suleiman, he is looking for a bird. His name is Mr. Hopu. This bird, brother, he was the minister in his army and he was a minister of watering and irrigation and looking for women who have no hair in their legs. Takbir. Now, it's true, by the way, that this guy, if you look at his picture, he looked like a general in the Roman army. I mean, come on. We have to be honest here. So, Allah, he chose the perfect bird for the perfect job. Look at him. Do you see his rank? This is the guy in charge. And Suleiman is checking where is he? And then he asked the other birds, where is the guy? And then the bird, and the, look what Suleiman, he said, look, so, you know, when you, when you make Suleiman angry and you are a bird, say bye-bye. It's a barbecue time, brother. It's a barbecue time. Now, for sure, the Muslim, they will say to you, it doesn't say what you are saying. It says, let us go, Brandon. I mean, it's obvious. So there is a bird. And this bird, he worked for Suleiman as a minister. The Muslims in the interpretation of Ibn Abbas, he was saying that this bird can see under the ground and see water. A Muslim Abdul, he said to Ibn Abbas, so how come, if he can see what is underneath, how come we can cover a trap with some dust and put some seed in the top of it and we can capture him? How come he cannot see the trap? Ibn Abbas, he said, if they don't, I'm afraid that they will say that you beat me in an argument, I will ask Allah to curse you. The guy, he got scared, he said, okay, they will kill me. I, I promise you by Allah, I'm not going to question again the Quran. And then, brother, the bird, he went. Because Suleiman, he made a threat. If you don't give me good excuse, I will slaughter him. This is what happens when you leave without permission from Suleiman. This is a great listen to all of us. Don't leave without asking Brandon for permission. So the bird, you see, but Suleiman here is smart. He didn't say I'm going to kill him just because he's absent. He says, unless he give me a good reason. Look, you know, he love him, by the way. I mean, come on, there's love here. You know, like I remember one of my cousin, he said, uh, if, he, if my cousin don't give me a good reason, I will shoot him. So my other cousin, he came. And he did not give reason, good reason, so he shot him. But you see, he gave him a chance. I mean, we are very good people, you know. So anyway, but Hupu, the Hupu stayed not long. That's for his benefit. You see, he came right away, not long. He came up and he said, I have grasped the knowledge of a thing which you have not grasped, and I come to you from Sabah. Like, what? The guy, he went like in two hours, he came back to Jerusalem, and he had news from Sabah in Yemen. Brothers, all those stories are true. And what make it more nice and I love it actually. That Suleiman, he have Afrit. Anyone knows what Afrit? Who knows what Afrit is? Anyone? Brother. An Afrit between two bracket a strong from the genie. Wow. True story. You have to squeeze it to come out. It's difficult. 
there is a afrid in the present of Suleiman, and he asked him to go and bring him, which means Suleiman. Bring him that throne or that woman. I freed. Just to show you how Muslims they present a freed, how he look like. This is from a Muslim movie. This is how a freed look like. He's a genie. He come from the ball, and Suleiman he lock him inside the ball, and uh, if you clean the ball, the freed will come. And he will say to you, Shubik, Lubik, which mean, I am here for you, order as you wish. And then you say to him, okay, well, let us go, Brandon. <laughs> and this is the guy here, you know, he's asking the Afrit for his wishes. Like, you give him a wish, like, what wish, what wish you want? Just wish, wish. Any wish. So the Afrit is embedded in the Quran. And you are telling me that the Quran is not from God. I mean, what's wrong with those people? We have a person saying, uh, this is Drax. She's saying the donkey he talk in your Bible, you are a liar. Read the verses and you will see the donkey did not talk. But I can show you your prophet asking his donkey for, and we made a cartoon about it. And this is Sahih story, asking his donkey for, hey, yeah, what's your name? He said, Yazid ibn and he said, okay, from now on I will call you Yafur. Yafur, do you like females? So don't fabricate stories. We laugh. And by the way, the racks, you can post the verses from the Bible so people can see and people will laugh at you. So, Afrit, genies, and okay, what, what the genie they do for, uh, for, uh, uh, for Suleiman? Brother, you will not believe it. The first divers in the world are Ifrit. Satan's and Ifrit, they work for Suleiman. Look, 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 look at this company. And also the shaitan, the devil, and the genie, including every kind of a builder and diver. All kind of builders and divers of shaitan and genie, they work for Suleiman. True story. Let us go, Brandon. Any Muslim wanna say anything? Shaitan he worked for Suleiman and the genie too, and what they do? They build for him and they die for him to bring him jewelries. Which is, must be a true story. I mean who can deny that? And not to forget, if you go a verse above it, you will see that Suleiman he have a flying carpet. Hey Muslims, does it say flying carpet? CP, it doesn't say that. It says, let us go, Brandon. Like, hold on. Chapter 30 is 38, verse number 36. Let us go there. 38, 36. Okay. This is 38. And this is 36. Let us see what uh, what how what the Muslim what the Muslims believe. Look at this story, brother, of Prophet Muhammad is telling us what happened to him. 
Afrit from among the genie, he come and bother me. Who's talking, Prophet of Allah? At last night, or saying something similar, trying to stop me from praying, like the genie stopped, like jumping in front of him, like woo -hoo 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 -hoo. and Muhammad, he can't pray, man. So Allah enabled me to overpower him, like what? And I wanted to tie him to one of the pillars in the masjid. Look, look at Muhammad. He got the genie, he captured him, he hold him from his tail and his neck, and now he wanna tie him up to the column of the mosque. But then, so you could see him in the morning, okay? Why well, you did not do that? But then, brother. But then I remember what my brother Suleiman said. My Lord, forgive me and bestow upon me and the, the kingdom such a, as shall not belong to any other after. What, what does have to do with this? I mean, don't you want to show them the genie? Nobody saw genie ever. Only you see the genies. It is time to show the genie. Tie him up in the... Muhammad, he, guys, I captured yesterday a genie. Just yesterday. And I decided to tie him up in my faucet, you know, in the pipe of my faucet. And I said, tomorrow I will go on YouTube Live and I will show those infidels the proof that genie is there. But then I remember. Then I remember what Suleiman said, so I let him go. Like, what the heck? True story. And then a the brother, Rawa said, he said, so he let him go humiliated. Like, do you see how Christian princes say humiliated? Him, learn English. Humiliated. Humiliated. Okay. So, look, you cannot play with Muhammad, even if you're a genie. This was also recorded by Muslim and Nisa'i, and it is Sahih. It is Sahih, brother. Brother. No, no, today I will not take calls. I'm not in the mood for calls. I don't want to shout. Look what happened to Muhammad. First of all, Allah, Prophet, he cursed him three times. Like what the heck with the three times? I curse you with the curse of Allah three times. Look, it's, listen, if you curse the Jafrit twice, it doesn't work. You have to uh, do the Trinity three times. You do it once, it doesn't work. You have to curse him three times. Okay, what after? What happened after he cursed him three times? He stretched out his hands and he was reaching out to take something. Who? The genie. What he will take? Like what he will take? He want to take hair from the bum of the prophet maybe. When he finished the prayer, we said, O Messenger of Allah, we heard you saying something in your prayer which we never heard you saying before. We saw you stretching out your hands. Muhammad is crazy, obviously. You see? They are watching him. What is he doing? This guy is moving his hand, saying words which is weird. He's illusionate. They did not see the Afrit. Only him, he can see him. This is a clear proof that Muhammad is a stupid mental idiot who is illusionate. He sees things nobody sees. The Muslims are around him, praying around him, and nobody sees the Afrit except him. But I saw the Afrit when I was a kid. You know? I mean, I did not see him in person, but I saw him in TV, and he's true. Actually, he was talking in the movie. And this is, this is the proof. Actually, hold on. Maybe I can let him talk. Hold on. Give me a give me a second. Give me give me a second. Okay. Maybe we can have uh, the afrit. Uh, you know. Maybe. I mean, he 
will speak in Arabic, excuse me. Let us see. It's not his fault. It's not the fault of the Afrit. If the Afrit, you know, he is a uh, uh, let's go there. Hold on. Yeah. Here, brother. The guy, brother. He open. Brother, he saw the Afrit. This is the Afrit, brother. This is Mr. Afrit. You saw him? He talk, he is real. So for those who they are lying, say this is not true, we got you busted. Let us go, Brandon. I free it. Hmm? So the prophet, he happened to him the same as this guy. He went under the bed properly. And he was stretching to hold the guy because he was jumping in front of him. But nobody can see the Afrit except the Prophet of Allah. Nobody can see him. But the Prophet, he have like some X-ray vision, brother. He can see like beyond, you know, your, your imagination. This is Quran. We are not quoting for you. You see, the Muslims are using their Prophet stories to explain the Quran. This is not us talking. And then let us go to the flying carpet. Forget about this. And then, brother, the Quran says in the same chapter, uh, when Suleiman, peace be upon him, slaughtered the horse out of anger for the sake of Allah. In case you do not know what horse you're talking about, the flying horse. Brother, this is serious, brother. Suleiman, he have a flying horse. I saw him. My grandfather, he used to have one. You know, but you know, my grandfather, like, you know, he, he had the bankruptcy because he bought too much ice cream, you know. And, uh, you know, then, then the bank, they said, okay, we will, we will take your horse. My grandfather says, please, you know, and the bank is owned by the Jews. You know, they take it. They don't, they, no, that's it. I said, you know, you borrow money from us, we have to take the horse. And they took it, and then now it's in Israel. True story. So Suleiman he killed the flying horse, which Allah he gave him. What's wrong with you, Suleiman? How in the world you kill the flying horse with the two wings, idiot? But Allah is all merciful. So look what happened. So Allah com compensated. Look at the word compensate. Let me zoom in. And this, this is alone is something. Show you how Allah is so good. Allah compensated him with something better. Look at the word better. And swifter. Even faster, brother. I mean, well, there's a huge difference between a flying horse and flying carpet. Now he can lay down. He can take a walk. He can eat. And not only that, this flying carpet can carry all his kingdom. It's not only carrying Suleiman, his horses, his army, his maids, his wives, his ministers, his everything, everything. The whole kingdom is flying in the top of the flying carpet of Suleiman. And by the way, Ibn Kathir in English have nothing to do with Ibn Kathir in Arabic. If you go to Ibn Kathir in Arabic, you will see way more explanation. Because here I don't see where it says the 600,000 
uh, I mean, the, the flying carpet is so big. What happened? Why it became so short? I don't see. They cut it off. Uh -huh. well, well, why is that? Okay, hold on. They always do that. Always. <clears throat> uh. Oh, let us go and find it in different verse. Chapter 21, verse number 8. Look, Muhammad is, the Quran is all over the place. The, you you want to find a story? You don't find it in one place. It's like, you know, <clears throat> you know, once I was writing a book, brother. And then, after I finished the book, it was pages. Somebody opened the door. All my book pages fly. I collect them. I put them together without, like, it's not in the original, uh, <laughs> you know, you know the thing. So it's not the way it was. So now every page in different pace. That's why there's no connection between them. So brother, look. And to Suleiman, we subjugated the wind strongly, ragging, running by the command. Like, look, look, look at this, like, Alexa. Alexa. Fly the carpet. The carpet is flying now. Alex, Google, fly the carpet. The carpet. Is, can you believe it? This is the, the prophet. He have this fourteen hundred years ago. He have Alexa. So if we go now to Ibn Kathir, chapter twenty one, verse number eighty one. Trust me, the Muslim now they will say they will make a video says America in the Quran, Alexa. <laughs> Trust me, they would do desperately. Would do okay. So, this is <coughs> oh boy, <clears throat> why those things happen? Why those things happen? I mean, you know, Islam is so beautiful, and uh, I don't know what the point of this, you know. I mean, let us go, Brandon. Hmm. So here we go. Let us see, let us see, let us see, let us see oh, what we are reading here. Here we go. We subjugated the, to him the wind, brother. It blew gently by his order wherever he willed. Quran 38 36. The distance of this, uh, uh, this is how fast it is. It is morning one month journey. It's afternoon is one month journey. Okay, hold on, hold on. Is that, is that not fast? I mean, one month journey of a camel speed and one month journey of a camel speed to come back. Okay. Is that camel speed or human speed? Let it go. And then, where is, look, where is the interpretation? It's gone. They took it off. They took it off. Hold on, I will go. Uh, I will go to Ibn Kathir. <sighs> they are taking off anything is a very, very like supposed to know what is here is not embarrassment. So they took off what they think it is very damaging, you know. They take it off. Okay. Look at this. This is Ibn Kathir in Arabic. And this is Ibn Kathir in English, brother. Look what happened. And this is the official government website of the Kingdom of Saudi Arabia. Here. Oh, hold on. I skipped something here in the English. Hold on. I just noticed it. How I, how I skipped that in English? Come on. It's a... Uh, read, brother. Read the brother about the flying carpet and how small it is. And everything we are all know, he had a mat, a mat, sorry, made of wood on which he would place the equipment of his kingship 
horses, camels, tent, troops. <laughs> Hey, Muslim, does it say that? It doesn't say that, CP. It says, let us go, Brandon. But Abdul, it's it's in front of us. I mean, okay, maybe my ears is not hearing correctly what NBC is saying, but uh, <clears throat> hello, it's in the screen. It is on the screen. It says the guy, he carry all his kingdom, all his horses, all his kingship, all his tent, all his camels, all his troops, in the top of the flying carpet. And then, brother, he command the wind to carry it. And then the wind would go underneath of it and would carry him aloft. <sighs> Brothers and sisters, it doesn't say what Christian Prince is saying. It was saying, let us go, Brandon. Don't listen to this guy. I mean, he has been exposed. He lie a lot. Everybody knows that it was saying, let us go, Brandon. It was not saying anything else to Biden. And if you don't believe me, don't listen to me. And I will give you proofs. Look at the beauty. Look at the media. This is what, how they do to us. They say, Islam is peace. Islam is a great religion. This is how some Christian false minister they say to you, we worship the same God. In fact, they are just trying to cover what they say to Joe Biden. Let us go, Brandon. The people saying the F word to Biden, the NBC host, she says, they are saying, let us go, Brandon. This is what Muslims they do today. They want to put walks in your ears. Brandon, you also told me, as you can hear the chants from the, the crowd, let's go, Brandon. Brandon, you told me you. Let us go, Brandon. This is what they are saying. The more you try to hide the stupidity of your prophet Muhammadan, the more people will carry it. This is what the stupid woman she did in her TV station. She said she hide what people hear. I mean, come on, we can hear it. When Yasser Qadi, he says there's holes in the narrative, you took the video down. You try to hide it, what happened? The opposite. And now you became the joke of everybody. Let us go, Brandon. Look how many videos about it. Songs. I mean, the, the top one song now in USA, it is let, let us go, Brandon. Can you believe it? Number one song. People making videos nonstop about let us go, Brandon. And this is what happened to the Muhammadan. We show them the stupidity of their prophet. They say it doesn't say that CP. It says, let us go, Brandon. With this, I want to say thank you for being here. I hope you enjoy, you enjoy your day with the let us go, Brandon. And uh, have a great weekend. As you see here, we have no mercy in the liars. And we expose their stupidity. And stupid you come, stupid you go. This is why the Chinese, they say it. He came as a donkey, he never came, he, he, sorry, he left as a donkey, never came back as a horse. Don't even try to make a donkey a horse. Anyway, so 
uh, I'm going to finish for today. Actually, I wasn't planning, but I saw this in news, so I said, okay, let us make a video about it. So just for fun and education at the same time. Don't forget to give us a like if you like what we do, and don't forget to give us a dislike if you don't like what we do, because we are not fake. We appreciate your let us go branding opinion. <laughs> Let's go, Brandon. <laughs> I mean, those left people are the most hilarious ever. Crazy, stupid, dummy. How far you can go with your stupidity? Abdul, stop doing the same mistake. Your prophet, he said, the sun set in murky water. You can't change it. You cannot, trust me, you cannot, it's there. This is not we heard wrong, here we read it. It's your prophet, he said, so. What we will say to the people now? It doesn't say the sunset in hot water. We will say, no, the prophet was saying, let us go, Brandon. Until we see you soon again, may the Lord bless you all. And forgive us for being stupid, following such a man, perverted man. His name is Muhammad, the devil. Thank you. Let us bless you. And see you soon again. Share the video, download the video. And don't forget to post a comment. But don't use bad language, please. You can use Let Us Go Brandon. It's very nice and practical. <laughs> Take care.